Le Petit Theater has teamed up with Dillard University for its latest production. Joining me live in the studio to talk about The Bluest Eye is Clayton Shelvin, the director of the play. Thanks so much for being here this morning. No problem. No problem. Glad to be here. Yes, I'm so excited. I was, I was reading a little bit about The Bluest Eye, and I'm one, I'm fascinated and can't wait to see it. But as the director, tell us a little bit about the play. So, you know, the play, Tony Morrison, this was her first novel um, that she wrote, and uh, this play, the, the novel itself is, is kind of a classic. Um, people really know it. And this adaptation, the stage version, um, was written by Lydia Diamond in 2007. Uh, so I know a lot of people have been really anxious to get their hands on it, but the story basically chronicles uh, the point of view of an 11 year old girl, Pecola Brie Love, um, and she is just going through basically the worst of it. Um, so we kind of watch. Um, with the community and her family of all these things kind of crumbling around her. Um, and we get the perspectives of all of the people um, that have played a part in her life, whether it's positive or negative. Um, so it's, a, it's an interesting story about really about community. And, you know, a lot of times when we watch these type of plays or even movies, we learn something about ourselves and we learn something about the character and how we can relate to that. Mm -hmm. uh, what will audience members learn or probably understand when they see this? Um, I think you know, in the big scope of things, this play is really about community, and I think it's why we were really interested in, in producing this. Um, it really speaks to all this community in New Orleans of who we are. You know, it, it, it chronicles poverty and racism, and um, and we even go into some of those elements of incest and rape and things like that, really heavy topics. Um, and all of this is still so relevant. Um, and you know, in this community, we see so many of these things, especially on this topic of racism, um, that this story really um, kind of dissects and leads us into this world of you know what were the true effects of, of racism and, and some of those things that our that the African American culture really has dealt with. Yeah, it's always so. good to be reminded of our actions towards others, right. you know, no matter what the situation or what century we're in. You're the director of this play, right. absolutely fascinating project. Tell me what you've learned and what you've gained from the experience. You know, it's been, this is one of, this has been like my labor of love. It's been really intense, but this is kind of, when I first read this novel, this was one of the ones that stood out to me. I mean, it kind of over the years, the past 10 years now, it's really been in my head. Um, it has just been really great working with a cast of people who all really relate to this story. Um, and then, you know, I think there's something to be said about working with a cast of non-African American actors in the city. Um, it's, it's been great and fulfilling. So, you know, the experience has just been welcoming and everyone's, the entire team around this has been supportive. Um, and, and then the community, I think people are really responding to this play. Well, well I, can t yeah. I can tell that you're all very passionate about it. And we want folks to be sure to get tickets. The Bluest Eye at Le Petit is showing December 4th through the 20th. That's Thursday through Saturday shows at 7.30. Also, Sunday shows at 3 p.m. For more information, we do have a link on our website at WDSU.com. Now, all you have to do is pick the As Seen on tab to get those tickets. Thanks.